Ladies and gentlemen, I am grateful to the President of Armenia, Serge Azadovich Sarkisyan, for his invitation to take part in the today's morning events. We sincerely sympathize with the Armenian people who suffered one of the awful tragedies in the history of mankind. More than one million and a half of civilians were killed or mutilated, and more than 600,000 were outcast from their homes, and they suffered mass repressions. The invaluable monuments of architecture and holy sanctuaries were destroyed. Ancient books and invaluable manuscripts were burnt. The events of the 1915 shocked the world, the entire world, and Russia took them as its own grief. Hundreds of thousands defenseless and homeless Armenians, millions have got refuge or shelter on the territory of Russia and were saved. It's the Russian diplomacy which made the international condemnation of violence over Armenian people possible. On, on the initiative of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sergei Dmitrievich Sazonov, Russia, France and Great Britain, and by the way the President of France have rem has remembered it just now, took joint statement where they directly called the events crime against humanity and civilization. I'd like to say that the relations of fraternal peoples of Russia and Armenia were always marked with real and uh, real close friendship and support. It happened a century ago. It happened during the great patriotic war and during the devastating Spitak earthquake. And today we grieve together with the Armenian people. In the hundreds of Russian cities, I'd like to highlight that, in the hundreds of Russian cities, there will be more than 2,000 commemorative events to, which will take place. And there will be not only the representatives of the numerous Armenian community, which is about 3 million people, but also tens of thousands of people of other nationalities and ethnicities. The position of Russia is always consecutive. We have always believed that the mass massacre of people cannot be excused under any circumstances. Russia is the participant and the initiator of a number of international legal acts which laid the foundation for the modern penal international law, including the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. The international community must do everything in order not to allow the tragic events of the past to happen again, so that all the peoples could live in peace and prosperity without knowing the atrocities of the religious hatred and aggressive, uh, xenophobia and aggressive nationalism. Unfortunately, now, in many regions of the world, neo-fascism gets his head, its head up. Neo-Nazis are stirring up for power, striving for power. We saw the events of Russophobia even. We must ask ourselves, what's the reason of that? Why is that happening? And it, with any action in critically important regions of the world, you must think on what will happen next, on the consequences. You must know the consequences. And remembering the tragic events of the pa past years, dear friends, we must be optimistic about our future and believe in the ideals of friendship, good neighborliness, and mutual help, mutual support. We must respect each other, be kind to each other, respect each other's interests. It is the only way of how we can make the world better, more stable, and more secure. We all, dear friends, thank you for your attention.